Hey there, welcome back to my channel where we explore the extraordinary in the ordinary. Before we dive into today's video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Let's get started. In today's video, we are going to discuss about WordPress post revisions. So, do you know that WordPress comes with a built-in feature that allows you to undo the changes? and go back to previous version of your post that's called post revisions so today we are going to discuss how you can manage and delete wordpress post revisions so this feature is called post revisions or simply revisions so most of us make mistakes when um, we uh, identify the revisions so Sometimes you might wish that you hadn't deleted what you have written earlier in the post, right? So revisions allow you to fix that by going back in time and undoing the changes, okay? So what are post revision features? So post revisions is a WordPress website feature that allows you to undo your changes and it will allow you to change your post content which you already have updated in the past so for each draft you are working on wordpress automatically saves a temporary revisions this type of revision is called auto save so wordpress stores an auto save every 60 seconds it also automatically replaces the older version with the new auto save okay so this auto save feature helps you to restore the content if something goes wrong before you can save it right for example sometimes your browser crashes or your computer hangs while you are writing your article right so you can post you can restore your latest draft and wordpress also saves post revisions each time a user click on the save update or publish button okay so why you should use post revisions almost every wordpress user can benefit from the post revisions writing great content requires lots of edits right so while using revisions you can have a better draft a better copy of your content and for multi-author wordpress sites post revisions allow editors to easily manage your work of multiple authors right so you can see who made the changes to an article, what changes they made and so on. Okay. So how you can use that? So for example, this is my uh, local WordPress setup and uh, let's go to post. I'm editing any post. So in this edit screen on the right side, you can see one option called revisions. Click on that. You will see here the screen for your revisions so this is revision number 3025 and here this is title and this is again title so right now this current version i have updated three months ago okay so now let me click here now i am dragging this by i am going in back time okay so here this is another version of my draft you can see I have updated this Drupal and added WP right again let me go to back in past and I will have more revisions right so this screen will show you the latest revisions of your post right uh, this sliding the button on the scroll bar this one will take you to earlier revision of your post right here you can click on compare any two revisions and now you will have comparison as well right and here by clicking on this button you can restore to this revision and your post will be restored to this particular revision now i have to update and now i have this updated content right so now i have revisions Eight, eight revisions before it was seven right so using this screen you can find 
your revisions of particular post okay so let's say you are working on one post and you have multiple revisions so those revisions are stored in database right and you want to limit your revisions in the wordpress and how you can do that there is one plugin to do so the name of the plugin is wp revisions control but there is another way that you can do it you can manually write one code of line in your wp config.php and you can do that so for that let's go to your wordpress here in wp config here you need to define one constant define you need to write down wp see i am writing constant in capital in php we write constant in capital wp underscore post underscore revisions and the value will be any value you want to put as a uh, it should be capital revisions and it will limit your future revisions to two okay so right now for this particular post i have eight revisions but for new post it will limit the revisions to number two let's say i want to disable revisions entirely in that case what i can do i just need to make this false and now let me refresh and this revision will be no revision will be there right so using this one line wp underscore post underscore revisions constant set it to false and you will disable the revisions entirely so it's not good idea you might need to use this revisions number 5 10 whatever you want right so it is a one way that you can limit your revisions and how you can delete old post revisions in the wordpress so there are two ways the first way is using plugin there is one plugin wp optimize cache compress images minify clean database to boost page speed and performance so this is very good plugin as you can see 1 million plus active installations are there and you should use this plugin if you are uh, having a very heavy data or uh, if you want to boost your wordpress website this is good plugin once you install this plugin so i have already installed this plugin on my wordpress so here is the plugins wp optimize let me activate so once you active this plugin you will see this option go to database and on this screen you will have an option to clear or to delete all these revisions so as you can see clean all post revisions there are 30 post revisions in our database at this time once i will click on run optimization it will delete all the revisions so this is one way you can delete or you can remove revisions from the database another way is using database right so this was using plugin and another way is using one simple query and you can delete all these revisions right so for that what you have to do you have to go to wp underscore post in this table there is one field called post it should be uh, something post type right so let me check it out there is one um, it should be post underscore type yeah so post type should be revision right so let's go to search click on search here the post type there is post type yeah here post type search by revision and now you can see we had 24 revisions so when we uh, we were checking it was 30 revisions on your database so these are um, post type is equal to revision in wp post tables right so 
now we have total 30 revisions in our database and now we have the select query what you have to do instead of select we have to write delete from wp post where post type is equal to revision now click on go okay 30 rows has been affected so we have deleted all the revisions now let's go to this screen now we will have this value as zero because we have deleted all the revisions let's see so no post revisions found right so using simple query we can delete all the revisions in the database so you must have to uh, notice one thing these revisions do not uh, create any type of load on your wordpress website because while loading the post these revisions are not getting fetched from the database right so it's good practice to delete it but it depends if you want to delete or not but it is not affecting your website for sure all right thanks for watching if you enjoy this video don't forget to like share and subscribe for more content stay tuned for my next video and hit the bell icon to get notified leave a comment down below to let me know what you would like to see next see you in the next video